Now I say, I started feeling a little guilty about it. I left him in the road, you know, no lunch. Left him in the road. So I said, geez, I said, uh, my conscience got to me. I really do have one. <laughs> so I went back to the stage, opened the doors, went inside, and I see the robot out on the middle of the stage in the smoke, billowing out of the robot, out of his, his head, and he's billowing away. I said, oh my God, I've killed the robot. <laughs> so I ran over, and I undid the things, and I pulled the bubble off him, and he stuck his head up like this, and he said, oh, oh Mark, thank God. He just, he really saved my life. I said, what the hell's going on? And I looked down, and he's got a cigar. <laughs> Smoke, he's just in there, he smokes a cigar, but he, the smoke wasn't going out and he was dying from the fumes from the cigar. That's what he was doing, reading the variety and smoking a cigar. So I didn't feel too bad about leaving him in the robot. I had a lot of stories about the robot. Yes. Oh, well, how about somebody? I was glad I had you here. Bye. 
yourself. Or a room by yourself. And oh, well, yes, but we didn't all have to share rooms. Oh, no. Oh, we did chill chill in a room. We would be in one room and we'd have to be in another room. Yeah, we'd all be sitting there chatting with everybody and having a good time. And he had his own special room. So there was a very, um, that, that was how it was. So we know, oh, well, that's just Jonathan. And, uh, you know, so he's missed out, he missed out on a lot of good jobs and stuff. Anyway, so, and that gives you a little bit of my point of view. I never knew him very well. Uh, I hung out with Billy, and I tell like a lot of pranks that I do with Billy. Yes. You know, I, I do like, and recently I, I'm a prankster. They like, tell him a book, I'm a prankster. And uh, all my life, I, I've gotten in trouble, I've been in jail and everything, but I, I'm a prankster. But on Boston Space, I can be a prankster and do things and get away with things that I couldn't get away with only because I had Billy in my side. <laughs> and nobody's got to fool with Billy, not to take him off the show or anything. You know? So if I did it, I'd say, well, he was with me. This little 10 year old, you know? Yeah, and Billy did it. <laughs> but, uh, but I, Billy, and then I, get, I was close to God, I was close to June. Oh, yeah. But Jonathan, I didn't think about Jonathan in the valley. I knew he lived somewhere in the valley and he was married. I didn't know his wife, but I didn't, yeah, I didn't know anything about him. Never was at his house. Guy and I used to hang out a little bit together. He's got the races with the guy. That's right. Never ever went to Jonathan's house. No, I didn't know he had a house. <laughs> but anyway, but you know. That's your answer. But it's all right. It's, it's, it's what it was, and it was, it was fine. God bless him. He died about five years ago, and uh, we came a little bit closer together doing these shows. He and I did a few shows together. We'd all have a drink and laugh. And I think he liked me. I don't know why. I think he liked me. Oh, I know why. <laughs> oh, I didn't thought of that. I was about 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another question. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. That's right. Was there some arguments or whatever about No, what we heard was that when Jonathan was brought, they needed a film, they felt, on board with us to put us all, to threaten us all, other than just, uh, you know, giants and the elements. And so um, they brought in the, the uh, he was a really wicked villain when he first came on. And But Jonathan said he knew that he wouldn't last in the series if he didn't become a comedy villain. So he started doing shtick and funny things and double takes and you know, all kinds of mugging and everything. And then, uh, so he developed a following, so they kept him on and he became, as you know, he was special guest star for all three years on the show, and Billy. Um, then he began to write his own material, and it was rather interesting because I had heard that in the third year, even Irwin Allen said, you know, what happened to my family? This is just about an old man and a little boy in space behind the rocks. I don't think that would play today. And, and uh, he said, where is my family? What happened to them? And I thought that was kind of an interesting comment because it was all done, of course, with his okay and everything. But uh, it just went another direction. And um, I am not one to break a contract, neither was Guy, certainly not you, because every show ends. You write it out. And also there's another thing. It's very bad to get a reputation of walking away from a show. 